Hey, what's going on YouTube? Welcome back to Robert Trader. I'm your host, Yassine. I'm not a financial expert or a life professional. If you are thinking about investing in the stock market, please consult one and invest your own risk. Always remember your money's better spent in the real world. You know, buying that uh, shoe you want or whatever Xbox game uh, you need. And, you know, spend your money on things you need before throwing it into the stock market, hoping for some crazy uh, gains and using, um, you know, the stock market as a, uh, as a casino rather than, you know, a, a way to kind of keep your money moving uh, while you're working and doing all that. I hope you're all having a great day today. Today is Friday, January 8th. The market has been around flip-flopping today. Some industries are doing better than others. Some markets are doing far better than others. Uh, one thing I did want to speak about is I'm going to start this small little uh, series called the pay stock of the day. Um, just talking about pay stocks that, uh, while you're working and doing all that. I hope you're having a great day today. Today is Friday, January 8th. The market has around flip-flopping today. Some industries are doing better than others. Some markets are doing far better than others. Uh, one thing I did want to speak about is I'm going to start this small little uh, series called Pay Stock of the Day. Um, just talking about pay stocks that anybody can get into, whether you just use uh, you know, the Robinhood credit that you got or being invited uh, or referred to Robinhood, that $5 Google stock that you can sell, invest in a few penny stocks, maybe triple, quadruple your, uh, your interest. And maybe you can get rich together, you know. Uh, one stock that I was looking at today, it goes by Spiram V, tick symbol NSPR. Uh, it's a pharmaceutical company uh, located in Israel. Um, and one thing I did look about the stock is not only were they up today about uh, 16%, their highest, and they're kind of uh, bounced around 52 and their 55 cents for the last few uh, minutes or so. Uh, but they seem like a, uh, a company that kind of matches BNGO. And BNGO has been doing very, very well for the last uh, month or so. They'll go from being like about 50 cents, jumping all the way up to $7.27. Even though that day they did go up close below uh, $8 on the, the five minute minute chart. So I see maybe this is a precursor for BNGO. The only thing that did hurt uh, BNGO today was the news of um, news that they just kind of uh, are offering up 29 million uh, shares of their uh, stock at a price of $3.50 per share. So usually what happens is. After these shares are kind of uh, given out, the stock price will probably go below that. So maybe hit it around three dollars, the uh, three dollars and five cents around that price. So NSPR actually the same thing. You know, the last week or so they've been trading about thirty five percent up. Last month about forty two percent. Well, for about twenty or thirteen cents uh, for the last three months up to seven percent. The only time they kind of got hit pretty hard was of course during during coronavirus time this March, but also in around May to June third. Their price went down to forty cents. So what happened? Did the the, the company kind of have some kind of uh, trouble? No. All they did was offer the same thing: about twenty-two million shares of their um of their stock at around forty-five cents per unit. So I mean, this is this is a, I can understand that those times were hard, so maybe need funding. So they offered uh, uh you know, more shares than they could probably afford at a very very good price, forty-five cents. And as you see here, June third. Same exact time around June third is when they hit about four cents, five cents below uh, their uh, mid-chart price. So I can see this this, this Inspire MV um, go up around you know, the same price as B and Why not? It, it hit seven dollars. I mean, their market cap is very very low, around twenty million dollars, which gives them a lot of room to grow and a lot of volatility. Um, I would say maybe try to enter um you know in the low fifty cents, high forty nine cents. Is if you can get it under that, you know around the forty five cents, you know their common uh, share price. Why not? I mean that's a good good value. Maybe hold it for a few months, few weeks or so, and just keep an eye on it. With penny stocks, one thing you want to do is you cannot just put it and leave. It's not these blue chip stocks like Walmart, Uber, Apple, DoorDash. You can't just put your money and kind of let it play. With penny stocks, you have to, you know, set stop losses limits. You gotta set limit prices. You gotta have, you gotta be ready because any minute, any minute. I mean, today, think about it. Someone could have came came in at at twelve fifty five, bought it for fifty cents. And had a gain of almost what is that? Thirteen percent. Thirteen percent. Today's high. Today's high is fifty-seven cents. So they could have made seven cents in a matter of what is that? A few minutes or so, just fifteen minutes. So you cannot, you cannot buy penny stocks, and and these are actual penny stocks, not below five dollars. Not these are real penny stocks. Fifty-two cents. I can find fifty-two cents. You know, just picking at the ground. So. You have to set limit um the sale limits. I mean, you could do that. Buy fifty two cents, put the limit price at a dollar fifty cents, or maybe five dollars or four dollars, whatever you feel comfortable with. And then every single day or so, watch your watch your uh, watch your stock. It can go up and it can go down. If it goes down super super low, 
you know, from there you can look. Well, should I sell it now? Do you think it's going to go down below, below? Is it going to go bankrupt? Is the stock, you know, look for some news? Or maybe buy some more during that time because maybe, you know, something happened where a lot of people are, are selling. One thing today that did happen is it did get a lot of institutional um, um, buys, you know, about 100% more, 100% change in institutional buys. One of these uh, companies called Savvy um, Management, they bought about, about I think, 600 um thousand shares if i'm not if i'm not assuming um but let's look at what does inspire themselves what do they have why are we gonna buy it why do we believe in this company not only is it an israeli company which a lot of these israeli pharmaceutical companies do pretty well for themselves after they you know they start to to kind of mature a little bit and you can see this thing went down to 51 cents went up to 52 cents if you day trade this thing i mean you're making a thousands of dollars if you're you know day trading means you have to have more than twenty five thousand dollars in the account before it just disappears um and their today's volume is not high at all so for for not having too high of a volume and for them to be up they're doing pretty well um so let's look at them the inspire md inspire md is a commercial stage medical device company with proprietary and innovative stent designs with integrated embolic prevention systems they deliver neurovascular protection and stroke prevention. Prevention, sorry. You know when it gets to these medical uh, words, I'm usually losing them. So I, I wanted to look into this. What? How bad is this neurovascular um, uh, and stroke prevention market? And I saw that you know. The stroke, a stroke, is the most common cause of death, followed by heart and cancer diseases worldwide. For instance, according to the WHO, in 2006, 15.2 million deaths of the 56.9 million deaths worldwide were due to stroke. So this is, you know, this is something that they can innovate very, very well. Very, very well if NSPR come up with some kind of device or maybe excel in some study that can help us, you know, help people don't die from strokes i mean we can see this the share hit up a thousand percent times you know five dollars why not i mean i see it you don't see it i see it now what do the analysts say this is a strong buy you know they have the price target at 85 cents and you know a lot of these companies you know they had tesla when tesla was trading around a hundred dollars they had them at like uh, a strong sell so if they say a strong buy at 85 um, and with a price target of 85 cents, I mean, I, I think the moon is the limit. You know what? Who cares about the moon? You know what happens when we go past the moon? Mars. I think this can be a five dollar stock easily. Now, not all the penny stocks I will probably you know talk about will be will go up that high, but these pharmaceutical companies are gonna get a lot of government funding. You know, we have majority of Democratic. Uh, um, uh, government right now, you know, we're gonna have the Senate is gonna be majority Democrats, uh, the president is gonna be a Democrat. So a lot of these pharmaceutical companies are gonna get a lot of funding. We're gonna invite them into our country. We're gonna we're gonna have barely any tariffs. So Israeli companies, Chinese companies, all these pharmaceutical companies are gonna get money, 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 and we're just gonna innovate, innovate, innovate. And I think this is the time to get into all these penny pharmaceutical companies. You know, just like how. All the all the EV companies back then, just a few uh, like last year or so, were all trading at nothing. I mean, look at let's look at Neo. How was Neo trading last year? Let's look at Neo. I mean, Neo. Look at Neo. Neo was trading about a dollar or so, a dollar or so. Nobody cared about EV stocks back then. No, if you if I told you, hey, buy this dollar stock right now, give it a few, this is gonna be a sixty dollar stock. What would you think? You think I'm stupid? If I if I said that, you would think I'm stupid. If I said this stock is gonna go up about five hundred percent, you would say I'm stupid. You wouldn't believe in me. But this is what I think about the pharmaceutical um, uh, uh, companies nowadays. I think they're all gonna boom. I think once once hit, would they all kind of follow? Once Tesla boomed. All the EV stocks boom. Now, I think all these pharmaceutical companies are coming out with these crazy, crazy uh, gains and innovative 
machines. I mean, just look at um, Zom, Zomi, Zomedica. I mean, they come out with these instead of a big MRI um, room, a little tiny machine that does about the same exact work. And I think this is where we're going. You know, we're not reinventing the wheel. We're just reinventing. We're not. We're just inventing things now. We're not even reinventing things. We're just making things new. And you can see, like up here, Inspired went down from fifty-one cents to fifty-two cents. That's that's. So what I say is, if you are gonna buy this NSPR, if you are gonna get into it, NSPR, make sure you set a limit price. Make sure you set either a limit price for buying or stop loss for selling. Make sure to watch it. You cannot just let it be. You cannot do that. You can't do that. You gotta buy, have a price. All right, I'm gonna buy fifty two cents. I'm selling it at two dollars. That's it. I don't care if that thing is trend trending at fifteen dollars and it looks like it's gonna hit that. Do not do that. Watch it every day. You know, just like how you watch your text messages, just like how you watch your your little tweets and make sure you give me all those likes and retweets on your Instagram. Make sure you get all those uh, uh comments and likes. Watch your penny stocks. Make sure you watch them, you know? Keep a little notification up. Anyways, I hope you guys are doing great today. I hope you guys, if you guys do get into um, NSPR, leave in the comment section. How much do you buy? You know, you could buy 100 of these. Uh, about, what is that going to cost you? About $52? I mean, this hits, this hits $5. You know, we're up. We're up. So, you know, $52 can turn into 520 and that's a used Honda Civic 1997. But you can't drive anymore Honda Civic 1997s because, you know, the Democrats are going to uh, ban all uh, gas cars um, by 2035. So that's good for us because you know why? Because we're into Neo stock. We're in it. We're in all the EV stocks, just like how we're in all pharmaceutical stocks. And that's why we're in it. Anyways, leave a like, subscribe, comment, whatever. If you want me to keep getting political, let me know. <laughs> let me know that as well. I hope you guys have a uh, great weekend, and I'll see you guys in the next video.